guys, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so remember that video we made on what the fuck is this game and we showed all these crazy vehicles out and we played the helicopter and stuff and yeah, we were actually pretty much playing a tech demo. I gotta tell you right now, guys, we have jump-started this game by probably six months. Last video when we played Armor MMO, um, they had no idea it would have been received so well nor the downloads they have received, and um, they weren't planning and putting it into full-fledged production until a, a couple of months later, maybe even six, maybe even a year. Guys, we have jump-started a company to start producing their game by a year by y'all's interest. Today, we have an update. Uh, the graphics have improved a little bit, the FPS, the optimization, and uh, there's something added that I'll get to in a little bit but from my understanding, uh, it's kind of hard to communicate with the developers because there's a language barrier and they're super Russian and only and all the Russian words I know are suka bliat and uh, potato. But from what they're saying, we're going to be getting an engine upgrade, better optimization, even more than it is right now. I have a GTX 1080 Ti and I'm running at about 100 FPS right now. And that's also working with my processor, which I think is a really good processor. Sure, there are better ones, but this one's gnarly to me, especially from four years ago. This is not, I have an i7-8700K, uh, which is a 4.7 gigahertz turbo boost with six cores. Blows my absolute mind. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be trying to increase the optimization. And then if the language bar barrier works correctly, um, they'll be Im implementing some conquest game modes for us to take these vehicles out. At least that's what I understood. Now, one game mode that absolutely blew my mind that uh, Armor MMO is thinking about, it's called Capture the International Space Station. So in this patch, they, I, this, okay, so the way these guys work is like, okay, let's take the most ridiculous idea that we can have while on asset and put it into a video game, no questions asked. That's really how I feel this game is going to be. And I'm excited to see what will come out of it. Because right now, let's go to AF or aviation. Um, we have the fucking space shuttle and a Boeing 747. And then we have the Buran. Buran on an Antonov or AN-225, the biggest cargo plane in the world. If you guys don't know, the Russians uh, had a space shuttle or the Buran, which um, boasted some really good stats. I think honestly better than the American one. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of the game mode. I asked them if I could and they say it's, it's nowhere near ready. But theoretically, we would take these things off and we would fight in space to try to capture the International Space Station. I can't make this shit up. And then we have the biggest airplane in the world. Now, I don't know what company is making this, but the whole point of this is to carry huge payloads up into the stratosphere, the strato launcher, and then be able to drop the rocket and fly up to space. Now, on this one, they're on acid, ladies and gentlemen. We have a UGM-133 Trident II nuclear missile that will be launched from this thing. I cannot wait to see um, what the game mode has to offer. Holy shit. Now, last video, we kind of played with the tanks and the helicopters, the hella choppers. Uh, Armored MMO gave me some premium currency just to uh, test out while they're developing this game. Uh, but I want to show you some of the aviation things and kind of give them my feedback on what I would like to see. Okay, um, we're in fighter jets. There, okay, here's my F-35 Lightning. Sorry, guys. Right now, they have a really good base for what aircraft could be. They just gotta work on some of the flight models and just kinda how planes usually fly in general. But uh, right now, we'll go ahead and start our F-35 Lightning, just like a car, you know, push to start. Now, I'm still learning how to use the weaponry, how to lock on and stuff, and holy cow, it's getting so loud. Okay, getting a little lag right here. Okay, there we go, we're past that. Now, if we go space bar, okay, good. We we, we just, uh, tra not traverse, we just changed into VTOLT mode. 
and we will power that up. Easy does it. Yeah, much, much easier than DCS. Well, that doesn't have a F-35, but it has a, a Harrier. Okay. Oh, no, no. Go, 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 go. Power, power, gear. Okay, there we go. Okay, we saved it. Gear up. And now we can go, I think our top speed's 381 kilometers an hour. Nope. 400. Okay, never mind, guys. 500. Oh, Jesus. And we're supersonic, apparently. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Turn back, turn back, turn back. We've got 22 seconds to get back. Okay, there we go. Now, slow down. Now, this is what I want them to uh, work on. It's just like, you know, they, they have aileron roll and stuff. But the way you turn is just like your, um, like with your rudders. So, we need to get that whole, you know, the plane using all its control or all its surface area to try to get the best turn as possible, not just using its rudders. But that's something that we can work on. So for the weapons, we have a 25 millimeter GAL. We have a ASRAAM, which is a short range air to air missile. Don't know what A stands for, but I'm sure you guys know. A Sidewinder, an AMRAAM, which is, I believe, an AIM-120? Is that a medium range? And then we have uh, the GBU-10, laser guided bomb, and a JDAM which is uh, conventional bombs or dummy bombs turned to uh, laser guided or just guided bombs. Now, unfortunately, we can't use the um, air to air missiles, but we can use the laser guided bombs, but I don't really know how to laser drop them. Um, also, we have uh, flares. I guess when you're in combat, someone's locking, locking on to you can drop these. But here's our laser pointer right here, or our laser targeting. You see the little red dot, right? We'll go ahead and switch to our, uh, let, let's do a GPU. Jesus, a GBU. Okay, let's slow down and get over our target. Now you would think that I could drop right here and guide it in, right? You'll... But it's short. And what that means is that we'll just drop right over him. Oh. I did get some tone right there. Okay, let's switch to our um, JDAMs. It's easy to kill them when you drop them right below, but I don't feel like they're guiding. The next thing I wanted to show you guys are the submarines and how they kind of work and play in this game. And right now we're driving or sailing or submerging. I don't know how, how to really do it. <laughs> uh, the Astute class, which is a British submarine. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, but we have torpedoes, a spearfish. We have tomahawks, which are really, really gnarly to use. And we have these. Mark 60s, which I really don't know how to deploy. But we got some enemy ships in front of us. We're going to go ahead and submerge. Turn our lights off. And we can get pretty deep. We can go about 280 meters down. Ping. As you can see, we're already a hundred meters and I can't even see the, uh, the bottom yet. It's getting very, very dark. There, is that the bottom right there? Now this is, is it the bottom? Oh, we're getting some, um, compressions. Or you can at least hear them. Yeah, this looks like the bottom. But as you can see, it gets deeper the further you head out from coast. 
And right now, we have an enemy popped up on the sonar. We just lost him, I think. No, we still have him? Okay, submarine, or, oh, never mind. Torpedo away. There it goes. Launched another one. And we're gonna head back up to the surface just so I can show you what the uh, tomahawks can do. So I just press T, which is our periscope depth. And it shouldn't put us out of the water too much. Yeah, perfect. So there goes our periscope. We can easily spot guys now. Now that fella over there should be taking, yep, he's taking some hits. Got some pretty big wave action here. How do I get a little bit higher? No more periscope, come on. There we go. Oh yeah, that guy's on fire from those um, torpedo hits. Now we'll switch to tomahawks. And up we go. And just like that, on the way. <laughs> Doom. Now I think the thing takes about two or three. Okay, there goes one. We got one more right here. And we have a enemy. Oh, we missed him. God dang it. We got two more left. That should do it. Okay, there we go. And this guy, we're going to launch all. He's pretty stationary. There it goes, okay. Mission completed. We got a surface to um, recharge our battery. I'm just kidding, this is probably nuclear. Fellas, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. We'll go ahead and turn the engines off. I'm really interested in seeing where this game will go in the future, in the future updates. Uh, we will be doing some testing over on my Discord server, which will be announced very, very soon to everyone to join to everyone okay we're getting a discord partnership and what that means is that i believe we'll have a better server some more tools and stuff to um, handle everything so look out for that again hope you guys have enjoyed this video until next time guys peace out